Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Ferdinand Hellas and Kurt Hansen that was played in Malmö in 1997. And where is Malmö? Malmö is the city in Sweden. Ferdinand Hellas had white pieces and he started with e4. Kurt Hansen played e6 and after d4 and d5 we have French defense. Knight to c3 Bishop to b4, pinning knight, and e5. So we have French defense, Vinava advance variation. Black paid c5. a3 attacking bishop, bishop takes knight, and pawn takes bishop. Black played queen to c7. What is the purpose of this move? Well, if white plays queen to g4, attacking pawn on g7, then black would play f5, now queen is defending pawn, and if white takes en passant, then knight takes on f6, and black is ok. So in the game white played knight to f3, knight to e7, a4, h6, perhaps better is b6. h6 was played, bishop to d3, b6, white castled kingside, and now bishop to a6. Black wants to exchange his bishop for a very important white bishop on d3, which is aiming at his kingside. Bishops were exchanged, and now queen to d3 attacking knight, knight to b8, knight to h4. What is the purpose of this move? Well, white has a plan. He is going to push pawn to f4, f5 and so on and attack on the king side. And he is assuming that black is going to cast the king side. Knight from b to c6, f4 and the black did cast the king side. And now it is white to move and f5 looks like a natural move. Instead, white played bishop to a3. Black played knight to a5, rook from a to e1. Total commitment to the king's side attack. Neglecting the pawn on a4. Or maybe it is a bite. But black decided to go after the pawn. Queen is attacking pawn, white ignore the threat. g4, queen takes pawn, attacking bishop, bishop to c1, pawn takes pawn. Natural move, natural looking move is pawn takes pawn. Instead white played f5, and black played rook from a to c8, perhaps better was queen to c4, challenging white queen. Rook from a to c8 was played, and threat is rook takes pawn on c3, queen takes pawn on c2, and white is lost. So we have reached critical position of the game. How should white continue? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white in this position. Ready? What did you find? Well, I think f6 is move that comes to mind. Then black would continue with rook takes on c3. Um, okay. But white played even more interesting move. He sacrificed bishop on h6. What else? Black captured bishop with pawn. And now f6, attacking knight. Knight can go to g6. Black played knight from e to c6. If he knew what would happen, he would play knight like this. 
this looks strange, but that would be a better move. Or another move is rook takes pawn on c3. Attacking queen if queen to d2. This is just one variation. Maybe you can find different moves. Okay. In the game, black played the natural looking knight from e to c6. Now queen to d2 threat is queen takes pawn on h6 and checkmate. So king to h7 was played. And again it looks like that white is lost. What would you play in this position if he had white pieces? White played rook to f5. Can black take rook with pawn? If pawn takes rook, knight takes on f5, there is no way to stop queen takes on h6 and checkmate. Hmm. So black didn't capture rook. He captured pawn on c3 attacking queen. And how should white continue now? And again it looks like that white is lost. Ok, let's see. Queen, if she goes to e3, is that good? Then queen takes on g4. And black is winning. Oh boy, oh boy. What about queen to c1, is that good? Again, if queen to c1 Queen takes on g4 and black is winning. Well, is white lost then? Well, in this position, white found the killer move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that white played in this position. Ready? Have you seen this? Queen takes pawn on h6 check. If king goes to g8, queen to g7 checkmate. So black captured queen. It is white to move and to checkmate in one. Can you see it? Rook to h5 checkmate. What a beautiful checkmate! And what a beautiful finish! And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.